Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him with a psaltery and harp. Praise Him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you a very special program entitled Music and the Bible, featuring favorite hymns. Very often, hymns learned in childhood remain near and dear to us all throughout life. They are scriptures written in practical and meaningful language with simple melodies. Let's consider the blessings that God bestows on us daily. In scripture, the word blessing occurs 67 times in 64 verses. In Proverbs 10, we read, the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich. Come thou fount of every blessing, hold my heart, O oh, sing thy praise. Streams of mercy never ceasing, Sounds of loudest praise. I am bound for the kingdom, once you come with me to glory. Alleluia, praise the Lord. For oh, once you come with me, for I'm bound for the kingdom. Alleluia, praise the Lord.
The Bible speaks often of friends and friendship. We are actually called to be the friend of God, and Jesus calls us to be his friend. He said, Ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Jesus was also the friend of sinners, perhaps the best-known gospel hymn. Speaking of Jesus as our friend is what a friend we have in Jesus. We are reminded over 160 times in the Bible that those who put their trust in God will be joyful. In a world of so much shallow entertainment and pleasure, we will do well to remember the words of Psalm 1611, Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore.
perhaps the best known hymn remembered from childhood with the most simple message is Jesus loved me, this I know. In John 3:16, we are told of the love that God has for each one of us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but shall have everlasting life. Often in the scriptures, Jesus is described as light in darkness. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And for those who follow him, it states that the righteous shall shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. One of the most joyous and happiest of all hymns is heavenly sunlight.
Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a program entitled Music and the Bible, featuring favorite hymns. We pray that you have been blessed and enriched by the music today. And we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. like to purchase today's program or any program in our library of over 400 videos and CDs from the great organs and historic churches of the world, please call 1-800-933-4844. We hope to hear from you.